Hey, welcome back to Dove TV Sports. We're your hosts. I'm CJ. And I'm Aaliyah. Now let's get into last week's sports news. Boys varsity won against Munson last Saturday. JV girls volleyball won against OPRF in two sets. Seems like the JV team should not be messed with this year. You got that right. Boys soccer won last Tuesday on our home field. That game was super insane. It really was. As a matter of fact, let's switch over to Steven with the game analysis. I say very exciting because our boys' soccer team had a very good game against Mutant Noble when we scored out with a victory. But during the game, the first half of the game, and I'm not going to lie, it had me stressed. It had me stressed, just like the rest of the crowd. But Mutant Noble was able to score one goal before halftime. And even though a little part of me wanted to die inside, I knew that I could have faith in my boys. I would like to shout out Nicholas Garcia on the soccer team. The second half had me kind of stressed, but you saved it, Nikki. You came in strong during the second half, and I'm proud of you. The defense tried to close out on you. You were too fast, you were too quick, and you scored. Everybody on that sideline was screaming for their lives, and I was one of them. But the second half wasn't even over. This is where it started getting serious. Mutual Noble scored, and everybody was scared, and I was almost on my last nerve. The second half of the game was coming to a close. Our boys knew it was time to attack, because there's no way we're going to lose to this no-name school. I mean, I've never heard of Mutual Noble before this game. The offense came through, led by none other than the Eli Guzman. I mean, this boy is serious. He got the ball, slid the pass to defense, scored an incredible goal, and the game was tied with five minutes left in the game, two to two. Five minutes left, and both teams kept the defense and offense up. I mean, there were a bunch of misses going around. These guys were acting like complete scrubs. But they were not complete scrubs. The game ended, and everybody on the sidelines just stood there waiting. What was going to happen? The captains went to the refs and decided... There are going to be penalty kicks to decide the game. We're going to see those in live clips. Here we have Aiden, number 23, starting us off with the penalty kicks. We have a bunch of randoms from Mutual Noble, which I'm not going to commentate on. Then we have Owen, number 6. We have another random from the school. Eli, number 18, he got blocked, but you showed up, Eli. Then this man blocks it. Oh, my lord. David rolled the clip again. I don't think I believe what I just saw. He kicked it out of the arena. Only thing that stopped him from getting run over in the streets is those fences right there. Then we have Leo, number 16. Another random from the enemy school. Caleb, number 17, hits it in. Another random from Uchi Noble kicks it in. Rodney, number 10, doesn't miss. Then another Uchi Noble random hits a kick. Then Patty... Number five, hits it in. And then finally, we have this bona fide scrub. I mean, he just misses the goal completely. I mean, at least the other dude hit the goal at the top. He hit the fences on the other side, which cost them the game, and Whitney Young came out on top with a victory. You see our boys celebrating. Good sportsmanship. I like it. I love to see it. Thank you for watching my segment on Dub TV Sports. If you would like your clip to be analyzed by yours truly from your favorite Whitney Young sports team, make sure to send the clip to either this email right here or this phone number down here. My associate David is going to be editing that in, and I will see you all when I see you next time on Dub TV. Don't forget to screenshot the sports schedule for this week. And make sure to support all of our sports teams. From, from 129C, 129C, this is Dub TV Sports. sports.